and it turns out that the brother-in-law's daughters have been taking this guy's daughter's like makeup and laptop and like a bunch of other stuff without like asking and they've been returning it what is wrong with people i like how i didn't even have to finish the story and you're already here just like they're the asshole (laughs) yeah you don't (laughs) take someone's stuff how about you're 18 get a job and go buy your own laptop and your own makeup you lazy sacks of perfect so this story this story is just going to get you more fired up Mm. which is that's exactly what i wanted relatable 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 look like complete and utter dog duty girl where is your face Fucking wherever my soul got lost. I could help Ever? you find it. Oh, I don't know. I don't it want may it, be too far gone. I've been doing very well retrieving souls lately. Let me tell you. You've been retrieving souls. Yeah. But yeah, no. Uh, I have been fortunate enough to finally obtain a PlayStation 5. You have? Yeah, so uh, Esteban and I have been playing Demon Souls. Demon Souls? That sounds mm-hmm. terrifying. Yeah, it's it's the that was the first game in that that whole series. That's that game I was playing when I was living with you, where you came in to my room and you like went to tell me something. You touched my shoulder and I jumped because I was like, "Wow, I have I was a like, bad memory." I was like, "You can't sneak up on me like that." I was like, "This game's scary as shit." And not scary in like a ooh spooky scary, scary in like a at any moment I could be just killed very easily. Really? Yeah, they got traps and all that, all that shit. Traps. We traps should start a Twitch channel and then and then play these scary games together. Oh, we could do that. Wouldn't we be so entertaining? I would be screaming. I mean, like I said, you, you like the ghost hunting. I've some of my friends have convinced me to play that that phasmophobia game more, that ghost hunting game. Oh, that thing is oh so terrifying. It's if you so like terrifying. If you like ghosts but don't want to go real ghost hunting, there's this game called Phasmophoria. Phasmophobia. Phasmophobia. But yeah, you're basically you, this ghost hunter. Go ahead, yeah. you explain it. You are yeah, it is just that you are a ghost hunter. Um you you can play with up to four people. Uh, it does have VR capability, so you can do that as well, which I'm not trying to, to poop my pants. So, uh, yeah, you, you just you get to choose a location. You roll in on the the ghost hunting, uh, like, van. Well, I was about to say bus. Uh, but, yeah, like, yeah. you roll up as soon as, like, the area is loaded and all of that. Um, there's, like, a little whiteboard in there, and it'll tell you – it'll give you, like, hints. Um of ways to make extra money and then you have all of your like primary ghost hunting tools so they got a dslr camera for recording to try and see ghost orbs um they have a regular camera i don't know if they if there's a specific name for it but that's to try and um, actually capture a image of the ghost they got the emf readers um Mm -hmm. they got salt so you can put salt in like a doorway to see where the activity is Mm-hmm. Like if there if there's a footprint that eventually comes through it, you'll know that like oh okay it tends to move that way and the salt will mm-hmm. be in a certain direction showing where it's moving. Um, yeah, they got all they got oh all yeah sorts some of little shit. booby traps. <clears throat> yeah, we and yeah we couldn't... And of course it can um the ghost will haunt you and it can kill you so you know you got to try and figure out what it is um, depending on the the things you find. Like, yeah, if there's a ghost orb showing up and it writes in a journal and the temperature is at like a freezing degrees, then it, oh, it's going to be this ghost. And so then then you run back once you've figured that all out and you put that in your little journal and then you leave and you make money and then you spend your money on better ghost ghost hunting tools. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. you and I didn't even skim the surface then when we played. No, we played the tutorial <laughs> and we got to scared to it finish was, it. Well, we could. well, that bitch wrote in the journal, die, 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 die. Yeah, and we're like, we fuck got- that. Let's get out the house. <laughs> I ain't playing Don't- this shit. <laughs> 
Dylan and I are literally we're playing in the living room. Aren't we? Weren't we playing like on your keyboard or something? Yeah, because I don't think my yeah. controller was was working at the time. With using the screen, the giant TV screen, and we're playing and just going into the house is so scary and i don't know why like it's a video game i don't know why i'm so terrified but we went in the house and like realized that the ghost we heard scribbling and we're like oh shit the ghost wrote in the journal and then i looked is it you or me that looked at it who was it was it was you because i think i had before and it said die 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 and dylan and i both go no we both like, like get out. we both mentally ran out of the house and I couldn't get away fast enough. And I was like, I don't want to play this game anymore. I don't want to play this game anymore. Yeah, one of one of the next times that I played, I played with my friends and they're like, Dylan, you gotta get out of the you gotta get out of the truck. And I was like, nah, man, I'm gonna stay in the truck. I'll watch the cameras. <laughs> like, don't worry about it. They're like, no, yeah, man, I'll be in gotta, here. You gotta get out of the truck. So Mm-mm. I did get out of the truck. We were like, and it ended up being like a little house. Yeah. So we're like checking it all out. It turned out the ghost was in like the bathroom slash hallway that was right, right next to the front door. Yeah. So when we finally figured that out, the ghost started haunting and we all flipped our shit and ran out. So, <laughs> so then we're like, oh, you know what? We like, we know exactly what kind of ghost it is. Like we figured all the stuff out. Mm -hmm. we did almost all of the bonus objectives except get a picture of it yeah so they're like hey dylan you have to go in and get the photo so i was like yo god this is terrible so i'm like all right fine i'll show you guys i'm not a little bitch (sighs) so i grab the camera i start going in there and they have a uh they have a proximity chat Uh uh-huh and a walkie-talkie chat so the proximity you know it's like if they're farther away, it's like, it's my actual speaking voice in the game. So uh-huh. the farther away I go, the quieter I am. Mm-hmm. And then you, they have the walkie talkies for when you're in, you know, yeah, bigger far away. Um, and when the ghost haunts, your like flashlight flickers and your walkie talkie goes out. So I, I'm like holding the walkie talkie the whole time, just telling them how much I hate them, that they're making me do this. They suck. The ghost sucks. I'm calling out the ghost. I'm like, hey, Cheryl, fuck you. <laughs> as I'm walking up to the door, as soon as I enter the threshold, my flashlight start, starts <laughs> This bitch appears at the end of the hallway. And I'm just like, ah! I take the photo and I run for it. And what my friends told me was, they're like, yeah, we hear a loud scream and then a very quiet scream that just slowly gets louder as you get closer. Oh, because you're the running truck. towards them. Because my walkie talkie went out. Yeah. So then it just went to the proximity chat. And they're just like, you're such a bitch. I was like, shut up, man. I made us 30 bucks by getting that photo. That bitch almost killed me. Oh my God. Yeah, no. Uh, those it, games. It's fun, but very, very freaky. Well, that and then like Slender Man. Like, I tried playing that when that first like got super popular. And I got so scared. And it is literally like the most simple game. The Slender Man himself is not even that scary looking, but it's the fact it's that you're in this dark you get, forest. Yeah, and you get caught. And when you see him, yeah, and the music. Don't get caught. Oh my God. The music just makes me like, ah! like, oh my God, I can't do it. I think that's it another reason why, that, why phasmophobia just seems really scary is because like when you go, wow, that really curled up. When you go inside, your mustache is looking fantastic today. Thank you. I know it actually. I, I like. Good. I started training it again since I haven't gone out, but since I've been going out more recently, I've been. Yeah. Anyway. Watch out, world! Here he comes. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, no. So yeah, in, in phasmophobia, something that I think makes it scary is as soon as you enter the house they just put like this white noise that plays in the background that's mm. just this constant like uh... oh uh, yeah no i mean it's no. not like a human hum but it's just like yeah it's this this just like white it. noise that's just hanging out in the background Mm-mm. and it's super creepy and oh, it's terrible nope yep i'm not about that yeah no scary games would be fun to play I, I saw recently a YouTuber that I watch um, 
Mr. Fruit, you the man. Mr. He, uh, Fruit? Mr. Fruit. Yeah, he does. Uh, he, he started a, uh, it's, it's a Pokemon Nuzlocke, which. What? So if you get bored with Pokemon games, what people end up doing is um, on the emulators that you can play on your computer, they basically change some of the system files. So that way, um, what, what ends up happening is like, you can make it so every encounter is wild or not, not wild, but every encounter is random. So you know how, like when you first started in, in blue version, that first area above Palatown, the grass is always Pidgeys and Rattatats. Mm -hmm. They changed it. So that way it could be anything like, a Blastoise okay. could show up in there, or it's like a lottery. Yeah, it's it's a lottery, um, and they have like different. They have a bunch of other different rules, and one of them is uh, if a Pokemon faints, you're no longer allowed to use it. Mm -hmm. So it's like they they like actually die. It just it just makes the game a whole lot harder. Um, oh wow! But there are so many other rules. But the this this run that um, Mr. Fruit's doing is. It's like the first one that I've actually been kind of interested in because he has to play it with his friend. Mm -hmm. there, there are like some other rules with it, but it, it's very interesting. And I got, I got super like invested in it and I really want to do it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know if you would be, I don't know if that'd be a good idea for you, for you to do that with me or not. You'd get bored too easy. You'd be like, oh, Pokemon. And then you'd be yeah. like, oh, I don't know all of them in this one. Which that's what you have me for, a walking Pokedex, but the walking Pokedex. Yeah. Hmm. No, I don't know. I did used to like playing Pokemon. We even got the um the VR system for Christmas and played it for like a couple weeks or like a month. I still I mean I haven't touched that thing in months. What a waste. Well, that's why yeah, I don't know when that's actually supposed to come out. I told mm. you about that D and D thing that we kickstarted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's supposed to be all that that they're working on it for VR, which that looks super fun. And you still haven't played a game of D and D with me yet. Well, I'm ready. Uh, well, if I would get an invite. Excuse you. You're. Sup I have, as you can tell, all the time in the world. You're the one, and you need a party. That's. I'm ready to go. I got the dice. I got the character sheets. I got the campaign. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm ready to roll. Oh, to for me to play with people out here. Well, that's the problem with me playing with people or out anything. here is that or can anything. we just play with your friends just because only because it takes so long <laughs> to set someone up with a player if they've never played before. Yeah. And like, I would rather play with your friends that know how to play because I'm still going to need a recourse Okay. As it is, our I pressure. Can, it's been I, two years. I can set that up, and you know what's even better? We mm -hmm. can we can try and record it as a special a special D and D episode. Oh my goodness, what a treat! We could do it on Zoom. I know. Uh, one of them's not going to be happy, or two of them might not be happy about that. But why? Because they don't like Zoom. What's wrong with Zoom? Everything's wrong with Zoom. No, what's what's wrong with it is it's an application they don't already have downloaded and they don't want to have to download it. Oh, what are they Microsoft Teams? No, we all hate Teams. Teams sucks. And then what do you talk on? Discord. I don't understand Discord. I have a Discord account because I was on there trying to talk with all of the H3 fans. <laughs> But then I didn't That's understand how it worked. And I was afraid that I was jumping into the wrong chat rooms because there were so many chat rooms Probably. just for the H3 yeah. podcast. And I was like, I don't want, what if I jump into a chat room and everyone starts attacking me? Don't say things that'll make them attack you. I just got too scared. There's a lot of pressure. Yeah, no, that's, it's, it's basically, uh, you know what Reddit is, right? Mm hmm I guess you could say it's like a, it's like a Reddit that you can personalize mm -hmm. and also have like voice communication and all of that. Hmm. 
It's kind of kind of like that because yeah, because basically like you can set up a server, you can invite people, so you can invite like just your friends, and then yeah, like you can have different text channels that you can you know put the topics of whatever you want like I don't know cooking videos or um, mm -hmm. movie reviews. You know you just put whatever you want to talk about. All the subcategories. Yeah, whatever subcategories you want, or you could just not have any and just have a giant like text chain, whatever. And then yeah, and then you have a uh, voice channel so you can all hop in and talk to each other. And then if you want to have video, it does video and all that. If you want to stream like your computer screen or you want to stream gameplay of a game you're playing, you can do that too. Huh. Yeah. So yeah, that that's usually what we all do. Very interesting. Right? I like it. Well, let's do a Dungeons and Dragons game. I'll let you set that up with your bring your best players and I'll I'm ready to go on a quest with them. I'll dress up. I'll talk in character. Oh, you're going to dress up? We dressing up. I don't know. I don't know how I dress up as a gay goblin, but I'm, I'll figure it out. You'll find a way. I'll I'll make my background like a little hobbit hole. We'll a try goblin and, hole. We'll try and buy you those like elf ears, but we'll get them green. You're going to have to paint your face. This is a lot. Yeah, that's right. You signed up for this. <laughs> yeah, everybody in the comments, let us know if you want if you want our D and D special to have her dress up, dress up and paint her face and get the fake the fake ears. Yeah, everybody like, in the comments. Also, do you want her to be like a cute gay goblin, or do you want her to be like necro goblicon goblin? I'm thinking ne necro gablicon. Necro gablicon. <laughs> There's a lonely spider. That was a that was the song of my twenty seventh birthday. It was. Yeah. Because yeah, I, that was the day that I found out about the the Spotify, whatever the Spotify thing is at the end that they do at the end of the year, where they're like, "Oh, these are your most listened to songs." Oh. Uh, this is the genre you listen to the most, and then they make like a playlist for you, mm -hmm. where they're like, "We think you might like these." Like similar songs or you know songs that branch out of your normal comfort zone and yeah i was like what is this necro goblicon i was like spider i was like what and i clicked it and i was like oh i was like i love this piano and then as soon as it was just like the the guitars came in i was like oh it's melodic like death yeah! metal i was like that's what's up i was like this is really good and you I didn't know that, that song it just day. came on or was that when we shared a um no that was when it spotify that, no that was that was when it it just came on it, oh. it was just on that list and i was like this is probably the best song on this list i was like i, I love this song <laughs> there's a lonely spider around the wind it spins a web for you oh that one yeah yeah it's a great song they're so funny. I just, I don't know why I have an obsession with goblins. I just love like goblins. <laughs> I can't explain it. I like goblins. Well, goblins running around doing stuff. And they're so funny. And they're so mischievous. You're over here eating on, eating on stream. I'm sorry. I do this every time. I know. You know what's, you know what's, the thing though is it's not me that gets mad it's people that listen people do get mad oh yeah who Lots of people get mad people talking shit to you about me eating that's right no they don't talk they don't talk shit to me but I like, no one said anything before no i mean if you look at other shows or podcasts or anything like that the moment someone eats on there everyone just trashes it well maybe our demographic likes to hear people eat oh i don't know how i feel about that don't like maybe that. they're maybe they're a bunch of feeders <laughs> i would say i'm not trying to king shame you but i'll king shame you don't don't i don't have it oh, well no, i think you're you, talking to me i'm like i don't have a kink for being fed i just like eating <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty similar i like to eat <laughs> i like to feed myself <laughs> which speaking of i was looking up i was trying to find a, a good subject one of the things i looked up was weird fetishes that people have and <laughs> i didn't go too deep 
but there's a fetish that some people have of getting like crawled on and bit by bugs no no thank you isn't that gross well, like, said, like the... sometimes they'll put bugs on their genitals and stuff like Ugh. oh no why did Isn't you remind that disgusting? me why did you remind me of that remind you of what oh, it was on one of the ymh lives oh god <laughs> oh i i'm hurting just thinking about it someone got stung no maybe i don't know it was hard to look at no they show those horrible videos i think didn't they have people puke when they did the the heavy segment videos didn't they have some people puke when they did it live oh yeah i'm pretty sure they did i think that's that's where they show this video too (laughs) so yeah if you if you haven't watched the ymh live you know lives yet go watch them treat yourself and then when it gets to the Beware. heavy segment, please make sure that you have eaten <laughs> lots of really soft foods so it comes up easy. Uh, what happened? Now I want to know. <laughs> You're going to have to watch. I'm not telling Mm-mm. you. Yeah. No, I will never watch that. Mm-mm. Believe me, it's a, it's a good thing. Just thinking about it is terrifying. Where do they find these videos and how are they legal to share? I don't know. People do weird shit. Yeah, people do do weird shit. People do. Was that me? That is you. People do weird shit. People make cookies that look like dinosaurs. There's one in here with a giant bite out of it. What asshole at work did that? I'll give you a hint. Someone that likes to eat. It, It wasn't me. That's why I'm confused. And then these are like finger doodles or something. Those look like the the Hershey's Kip cookie, Hershey's Kiss cookies. Yeah, it's makes. like they're they've got like a salty dough with all of this little confetti um, sprinkles oh, on it, and then I it's was, got a little chocolate center, and they're really yummy. I'm kind of sad that they're sprinkles. I thought that they were fruit or uh, fruity pebbles at first. Oh, that would be. That would be the shit. All I do is make money ideas. All I do is make money ideas that don't ideas. turn into money. Oh. That's right. I'm I like have. A, I had an idea today. Some say I'm like a truffle pig. I can sniff out the good stuff. We know a few truffle pigs. We do know a few truffle pigs. Shout out to my truffle <laughs> pigs. You, you don't know who you are, but you should. Don't talk shit about you being a truffle pig behind your back. There's nothing wrong with that. Being a truffle pig is awesome. You know where the money's at. <laughs> I was in the grocery store and you said something. I was like, oh, the truffle pig. <laughs> and I walked by this lady and she's like, I was like, oh yeah, the truffle pig, blah, blah, blah. This lady don't know about truffle pigs. A truffle pig knows how to sniff out money. That's right. And that is a truffle pig. But I, I had an idea, a money idea. Oh, did you? <clears throat> I'm going to make a brand of cookies and I'm going to call it salt cookies because I like salt and salty and sweet is so good. I make it. No one makes salt cookies. What do you mean? They like make a, cookies and put like a plain salt sh- on them. Like a plain sugar cookie that just has sea salt on it? In it. Doesn't be. Yeah. The salt cookies. Maybe on top. Sure. Let's go on top. Salt cookies. Yeah, I don't know about in it, but on t- like the big sea salt flakes on top. Yeah, I could see that because mm-hmm. I've had that. Who's yeah, making new a, salt cookies? There's a place out here called Gideon's. They got some delicious cookies. They're freaking huge too. They're like, they're like this big, this big, and like that soft? and like that thick. They're very good. That's a brownie. No, no, it's good. Bro, that's a brownie. You wish it was a brownie. Mm-mm. It is a thick cookie. No, that's a brownie, bro. It's delicious. And yeah, they put the they put the big old flaky sea salt on top, and I'm just like, ooh. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I'm so happy. So you got your PlayStation Five? Sorry. Yeah. Ew. Yeah, ew is right. But yeah, no, I got my PlayStation Five. I'm super stoked on that. It only took me a couple months. They mm. they hit me up. They hit me up the same way everybody else does, like you and Ma, where uh, <laughs> I was I was using the restroom. And my phone got a got a got a notification, and I was like, "Oh, what's that? Oh, snap! Best Buy's got PS fives." And I'm sitting there trying to go through it, trying to purchase it, and then I realized that I didn't have my wallet on me, and I don't have my credit card number memorized by heart, and I don't have it saved on my my phone. So I was like, "Oh man, I gotta pinch this off." And I was like, "Oh," and then I gotta run to my room. Mm-mm. And then sure enough, I I got it, and now we got it. We're living. What is so great about that one, about the PS5? It's got Demon Souls. What are the new features? Um, it can run at 4K. Uh, they also uh, games now run at 60 frames a second now. So yeah, it's just it's just more more quality. I guess they they also um, the hard drives that they have in them now are SSDs. So everything loads up faster. Mm. So yeah, just faster, looks better, runs smoother. That's cool. Yeah, and we got it. We got it for yeah for Demon Souls remake since that's only on there. Mm-hmm. Um, they announced the new God of War game, and mm-hmm. I think that comes out early next year. Mm-hmm. So we're ready for that. God and then, yeah, there's, there's there's a bunch of PS PS4 games that were released later. Mm-hmm. that are getting updates for like the higher resolution and better frame rate stuff. So mm-hmm. we've been going back and playing those too. Very nice. Yeah. That's cool. So yeah, we basically like we've been sitting <laughs> on the couch and we just like every so many hours just like pass the controller to the other guy. And I'm like, okay, your turn. That's a life, dude. How we I do miss it. having free time. And then, and then on Friday, Monster Hunter Stories 2 comes out. What's up with so you much. playing all these scary games, but then you don't want to go like real ghost hunting? That's with not me. a scary game at all. Monster Hunter sounds terrifying. If I show you the trailer, you'll look at this and you'll be like, this looks like it's for kids. And I'll be like, whoa, you're not entirely wrong. But because <laughs> it's, it's like a Pokemon version of the normal monster hunter games because you get to collect mm. the monsters and you get to like ride ride on them it's it's dope it's so dope if you had a nintendo switch i tell you to download You're stoked demo to right go now. riding around on monsters you know, ride around on a monster well when when they're part of your party they're called monsties instead your yeah. stees your monsties. stees that's right monsties oh my god and you got hat you gotta go you gotta go find the monster nest you gotta get those eggs you gotta hatch those eggs that's right well how do you hatch them you gotta sit on them yourself no 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 cat does that yeah what the farm the farm pod does that they always make cat puns instead of a farm hand it's it's a it's a farm paw hmm. they're not the best but they they make puns nonetheless know. I don't know about this game. It's very, very fun. The, the, I, I didn't think I would purchase it because I was like, nah, this doesn't look that great. Mm-hmm. I played the demo just to try it out mm-hmm. and I was sold very fast. On, excuse me. I was sold very fast on it. Aww. And so now I've been waiting for like a week and a half for it to come out and I've been dying. To play with your monster friends. That's right. <laughs> I'm gonna name them and everything. They're gonna have the best jeans. I'm gonna keep them high and tight. <laughs> oh, I was gonna tell you too. Speaking of like monsters and games and stuff, I sent you a picture of the weird. So we're working in this little town, mm-hmm. and there is a game store in that little town. That's like it looks like I was gonna go in it the other day too, but they closed. So I was like, oh, I'll go in it tomorrow. Uh, but it looks like they would have like Dungeons and Dragons, also like video games. Like it is like an all things game store. Mm-hmm. Last night I get a text from my coworker that's also working out there with me. 
who had to go in there and talk to the owner of the store to see some storage space and said that when he went to show her the storage space, he locked the front door and to her, she's like, oh, that makes sense. He's going to go and show me the space upstairs. He's locking the front door so no one comes in and steals anything from his shop because mm-hmm. it's a pretty big shop, but he kind of runs it on his own for the most part. And so he turns around and was like, don't be scared. <clears throat> and she like looked at him and thought it was a very off the cuff comment. And she said, he held my gaze a little too long after he said that. She goes, and honestly, she goes, he did a few other things kind of like that while he was showing me the space. I feel the really weird comments. She goes, I didn't show any fear, but I think that if I had shown him that I was like put off by it, she's like, something very well may have happened. I was like, what? Like what? She's like, I don't know, but put it this way. He was supposed to show me his basement storage and he didn't. And it was like, oh, we don't need to go down there. I was like, oh, he was going to keep you in his basement. He was thinking cool. about showing you his basement storage so he could kidnap you and then decided it wasn't a good idea when he realized you weren't afraid of him. Mm-mm. Giving gamers a bad name. Actually, I feel like that's the name the gamers give themselves. They they rip on themselves a lot. That's like the, uh, what is it? There's a couple words that they call the gamer words. Oh. Because kids just say like them to simp? each other. Like a simp or a cuckold? I mean, I guess you'd right say words? a simp. A simp. But I mean, it's more of like curse words in particular that are frowned upon. Like the F word or the N word. Uh, ugh, that is awful. Yeah. I've heard some of the little teenage kids on those games because will plays um gta (laughs) and those kids it it doesn't even sound like their cherries have left the tree their voices are very high and they are saying words that i have never like sentences horrible sentences that i would never even think of as an adult to say just like the most horrifying Mm -hmm. things they're vile little creatures yeah i've said some things you yeah what kind of stuff are you saying whoa this was back in the day i don't you are one of those little kids i mean i wasn't the one that would usually initiate it but i was really good with the with the clapbacks i got kids to shut up real real fast man because yeah that's that's all it was because back in the day too like it wasn't as easy to have like the private the private lobbies and the like oh i'm just yeah. gonna i'm gonna hang out in an xbox live party verse i'm gonna be on discord with my friends like when you played a game and you wanted to talk with your friends like mm-hmm. you were just in the game's open lobby chat and before and after the matches you could hear the other team also in some of the games you could hear them when they killed you which was so much worse. Do they talk more shit well, yeah, after they the, killed that's you? That's the time you talk shit. You talk shit and you teabag them. No! And then if you really, really want to give it to them, you just sit there and you waste your ammo into their dead body to prove, because you're just like, I don't even need this ammo to kill you. You suck that bad. I'll kill you with a knife. Yeah. What is... Oh, I don't know, man. I mean, it's all part of it, though. You're gonna it, get, get it gives me anxiety. You're going to get bullied no matter where you go. So you just, you know, you just learn how to deal with it. Man, I don't, that is like some mean stuff. Oh, yeah. It's great. That's Will's what, asking me before if I want to play like live. And I'm like, no, I we, do uh, not. We used to have so much fun with uh, when we would play Overwatch with some of our friends because uh mm-hmm. If you play, if you play in like the casual stuff, everybody's an asshole to each other. Yeah. And so be, because the whole reason is like when you're in the casual stuff, like people just want to play what they want to play. Like there are different positions, so to speak, in that. Mm-hmm. And usually a good team like has, you know, the right amount of positions filled. Mm-hmm. But when you're playing the casual stuff, everyone's like, yo, I want to be this position. So 
everyone ends up being that position and nobody gives a shit. And then there's always somebody who's like, no, man, you need to be this. And then you always got someone else then being like, well, why don't you feel that then if you're so passionate about us having a rounded team. And so whenever people would get upset over one of our choices, Mm -hmm. we would just be like, oh, how do I do that? We would just play dumb. Sorry, this is my first time playing. And it was really funny how people would either change or Mm -hmm. they would just be like, oh, why don't you just get the fuck off of this and never play this again? And then my favorite thing to do is after every sentence that like my friends would type, I would just type right yeah. really fast with a question mark. Right? <laughs> yeah, I've never played this before, right? What? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have the thick enough skin to play these games and these mind games. You develop it very fast. Oh. But then I like also, to live in a world just... where everyone's so nice to me. That that that's that's also just growing up as a boy though. Like, yeah, I guess so. That's huh? all we did was that's all we did was talk shit to well, each other. So here's the difference between men and and women, maybe boys and girls, boys and girls, and I feel like it does translate to men and women. Men will talk shit to each other's face, no Still problem. Talk shit to my friends all day long, no problem. Women will be nice to each other's face and say the meanest things bet- behind each other's backs. And I don't know if that's a maybe it, like a societal thing or whatever that like cuz girls are supposed to be sweet and kind and like they you just know. did that to themselves. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. I'm just saying, you know, sugar and spice and everything nice. Just talk shit to me. I don't care. Logs and snails and puppy dog tails. (laughs) That's right. Boogers, snails, and puppy dog tails. Something. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But that is interesting, though, because boys will just talk shit to each other's faces. And that's that's, like, and it's fine. That's one of those things where, yeah, you hear most guys that when they, they say, they're like, I know if you're like my friend, when you can sit there and you can just obliterate me. But you still come to, you know, my daughter's like third recital. Yeah. yeah. Just things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's how it works. Interesting. I'm looking forward to that too. What recital? I don't know. Oh. I don't know if his kids oh. play any instruments yet, but if they do, I'll, I'll show up. I'll fly out. I'm going to be the best uncle ever. Well, what about when I have kids? Well, what about have a freaking kid first and then we'll talk about it. See, for all of you all of you that are are listening and not watching, you should have seen the sass in my my movements right there. So much sass. So don't stop right now, just listen the rest of the way and then watch it. Because why not? Oh, do you want to talk about what 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 you found out the other day? What I find out? We made our first dollar. <gasps> we did. <gasps> we made one dollar and one cent. We are up to one dollar and two cents today, I must say. But when you have a business, which funny enough, shout out to all the people that do listen to audio only. Hey, shame on all you YouTube people. Because <laughs> YouTube doesn't want to give us Jack's diddly squat. Not yet, anyway. What do you YouTube? But yeah, no, shout out to all you people listening. You got us our our first dollar. We got to find mm-hmm. a way to frame it. Yeah, we're we're I, I took a screenshot of it, but we've made officially one dollar on Anchor. Took a screenshot and of our dollar. Thank you to Anchor. Thank you to all the listeners. Oh, that's right. Thank you to Anchor. Via podcast for making this possible. We've earned one dollar just from talking to each other and some editing. And for all of you all of you that are watching on YouTube, if you just want to hear that ad, you totally should because I'm the one that does it. Well, and the secret is we get money when you listen to the ad, which is at the beginning of the episode. So go and just listen to the ad if you've watched it already. Yeah. Yeah. Just listen to me talk about about Anchor FM. (laughs) Are you trying to start a podcast? Try Anchor FM. It's just like that. Well, it really... It really is nice though because you upload the episode on there 
and it throws it into a whole bunch of different podcasting platforms. So you really, all you have to do is make your profile, upload it, say, yeah, I want to put an ad in this. And it, you can choose like even where you put the ad yeah. and then upload it. And then. And yeah, it goes boop. to a bunch of different places. Like we. Um, Literally so some easy. Of, some of my, my friends were asking me, they were like, oh, wait, when you say like audio platforms, is it on Spotify? And I was like, oh, that's mm-hmm. a good question. It is on Spotify. Yeah. No, I was talking to someone the other day and they're like, wait, you're on Spotify? And I was like, my picture is on Spotify. Granted, yeah. I was like three years old, but this We're handsome also on double iTunes. was on Spotify. <laughs> on, it, it's, it's on most major pod, podcasting platforms. Podcasting. Mm-hmm. You can find us on major podcasting platforms. That's right. Mm-hmm. We're everywhere. I'm pretty impressed with it so far. Takes a lot of the, a lot of the pressure off of us. That's right. So you just upload it and watch it go, and watch that whole dollar roll in. Six months, one dollar. I'd have to say that is a. That's a pretty good deal. This time next year, we might have three dollars. <laughs> you know what I could buy with three dollars? Um, not much. What? I could buy a king size bag of peanut M and M's, maybe. I think with I a coupon. As long as I'm not buying them at the airport. Yeah, then you'd I'm be buying screwed. them at the airport. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I went to CVS today. Speaking of like coupons and stuff, and <laughs> I they asked me if or no. Yeah, it was CVS. So CVS, for some reason, I haven't had a a phone number, like a lookup phone number on there. Mm-hmm. And uh, so every time, because I still want to get my discounts because CVS is hella expensive. So I put in mom's number. And months ago, I used mom's number to get a discount. And the guy was like, do you want to use your points? And I said, no, that's OK. It's my mom's account. Uh, I don't need to use the points. I just want the discount. Well, this dude was like, okay, but must have clicked it anyway. Two weeks later, I get a text message. Have you been using my CVS coupons? I was like, when does she go to CVS? I don't know. I was telling the story to the girl at CVS today, and she goes, oh, people that shop at CVS are like, on top of their coupons. I was like, well, apparently my mom's one of them and I didn't know. She knew two weeks. Did you use my coupons? I was like, I don't think. Oh, I told them not to use it. I guess they did. That's pretty great. Sorry. Of I course. Know, yeah, everything. I didn't know mom was like that. Because mm-hmm. so at, when I was at Best you Buy, they're like, oh, do you have a Best Buy rewards number or whatever? And no, I don't have a Best Buy rewards number. But you know who does? Mom. Mom. So I used moms and it was great. Oh, yeah. had, the guy looked at me and he's just like, uh, it looks like Denise, but the name is Dennis. That's, that's exactly what I said. Really? Yeah. I was like, it looks like Denise, right? Yeah. It's Dennis. Oh, Dennis. I was like, haha, no, I'm just kidding. That's my mom's <laughs> because the PlayStation was under my name. So how he's, he's going to be like, Hmm. Oh yeah, Dennis Dylan, suspicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I just put it under mom's. So yeah, she she get. Yeah, whenever I make a purchase at Best Buy, mom gets all my points. Oh, that's really nice. I mean, what am I gonna do with them? What what are what is anyone gonna do at Best Buy anymore? I tried. Best Buy I, used to be the place to go. I tried to get a Best Buy credit card back in the day, to mm-hmm. build to build my credit when I was first starting out. Cause I was going to, I was, I was getting a new cell phone that day. No, no, no. It was when I was getting my laptop. I was getting oh. a laptop. I wanted to finance it. I had the money in cash. Mm-hmm. My plan was buy the laptop with the best buy credit card. Then just pretty much immediately pay it off. And then ta-da, I have a best buy credit card. Cool. Mm-hmm. And we sat there for like a half an hour as they tried to process the application only to then be like, yeah, no, sorry. You uh you didn't pass. Why? I was like, because I didn't have any I didn't have any credit established at the time. 
Yeah. The classic. Are you supposed to establish credit if you can't get a card? The classic. So, yeah, then I was just like, you know what? I was like, fine, here. And then I just paid him. I was like, that see, so dumb. you had nothing to worry about. I had the money. I was like, joke's on you, man. But That's now really... look at me. Now I'm, su- mm-hmm. now, now I'm successful. I have a great credit score. Mm-hmm. And guess what? I don't have a Best Buy credit card. That's what happens. My my biggest advice to anyone that's young that wants to get a card is get a card, but only use it in emergencies or if you have the – let me shake my Cheeto at you. If you have we talk the flaming hot discipline with, with, with lime, they don't sell them with lime on the East Coast at any of the gas stations. Uh, technically, East Coast, they sell them here. I'm not close enough to the South, I guess. Northeast. They don't believe in Limon. Why? I couldn't tell you. Racist. I told my local bodega they need to step it up. Oh, man. Yeah, no, that's and the like, lady we was didn't, like, eh. we, didn't have, we didn't have Takis here for a while. And then like one day in the grocery store, I was like, oh, shit, we got Takis. Uh, Takis are so bad, though. They're they literally a salt treat. Not that these aren't, but. Oh, miss. Cookies are worse. Salt. I want to make salt cookies. Ugh, those are bad. They're just a salt treat. Yeah. Talk about a salt treat. Hypocrite. Get, you, get yourself you treat yourself. Get yourself a nice TV. Get yourself a credit card. Get yourself a nice TV. And then pay that credit card off. Treat. And then get yourself, yourself some hot Cheetos with limon. With limon. Mm-hmm. You know why? Con limon. You got to treat yourself. Yep. Treat yourself. And then get some essential water. Oh, actually, that reminds me. So I recently tried that that liquid IV stuff. Not that bad. They should sponsor us. Liquid IV, sponsor us. It is sponsor so good. Us. It is. Mm-hmm. I got the lemon lime one. Mm-hmm. That's Same the one. only flavor to get. Yeah, pretty much. Although I have to say, I feel like their their ratio thing is off. Because I'm pretty sure I read on the packet it was like for a, a 16 ounce, mm-hmm. 16 ounce of water for one packet, and uh-huh. that's just like too it's too sweet and too overpowering. I put it in like one of my water bottles that I have, the 20 ounces. Yeah, much much more better, Way better, much better distribution, much more better, much more better distribution on that one. I drink it and I just go. Ah. <laughs> that's the stuff, dude. It is. It was very good. So sponsor us, Liquid IV. That's right. Because we already like you. We oh, yeah. Plus, you know, if you send me some stuff, brand. that'd be cool. Mm-hmm. I want a shirt. Give me a hat. Keep, keep me hydrated. Give me a necklace. Give me don't, some wristbands. Don't let me have another panic attack. Keep me hydrated. Yeah. Give us some eyeshadow. That's right. Give us some beard wax. <clears throat> Mac. <clears throat> you know oh, all right, hold on. I got to tell you this this thing I saw on Reddit the other day because it's really good. Mm-hmm. It was a, it was, there, there's a subreddit called Am I the Asshole? Uh huh. So people, they tell their story and then in the comments, you basically write, like, you're the asshole, the other person's the asshole, nobody's the asshole, or you're both the asshole. Oh my God, we should read some of those. They're really good. Um, so, The one, this one I read the other day was basically um, this guy, his, his Mm brother-in-law got divorced um, and doesn't have anywhere to go. So it's him and his twin girls that are 18. So this guy, he, you know, he was like, Hey, you know what? You can stay with me, me and your sister. Um, and they have a 16 year old daughter. So the, bro- the brother in law and his daughters are there. And it turns out that the brother in law's daughters have been taking this guy's daughter's like makeup and laptop and like a bunch of other stuff without like asking. They've just been like taking it and using it. And they've been returning it. What is court- wrong with people? I like how I didn't even have to finish the story and you're already here just like they're the asshole. 
Yeah, <laughs> you don't fucking take someone's stuff. How about you're 18, get a fucking job and go buy your own laptop and your own makeup, you lazy sacks of shit. Perfect. So this story, this story is just going to get you more fired up, mm. which is, that's exactly what I wanted. So, <laughs> so yeah, so, you know, they have a conversation. They're like, hey, you know, your daughter's doing this. And the brother-in-law and the guy's wife, they're just like, oh, that's just what teenage girls do. Like, you know, they just borrow each other's clothes and they borrow makeup and stuff like that's just what, that's just how they are. And this guy's like, yeah, but like, to his wife he's like our daughter is saying like hey like i don't i don't want to share with them like they're doing this without asking me like I, yeah this is my stuff and she's like no that's just what teenage girls do and so no, he was like not. he's like all right whatever maybe um, teenage sisters but so he ended up finding out then like a little while after that um because his daughter told him she was like well yeah dad because you're the only one that is like on my side about this she she bought like a sixty dollar makeup kit that she saved up for. She paid for it, and it ended up getting used. And it was then returned in terrible condition with like I don't know how makeup works and all that, but apparently that's like also colors, not hygienic. Colors were like mismatched or like you know they were like smeared together or some shit like that. Like I said, I don't know about makeup, which is well, funny uh... enough. Exactly what that guy wrote. He's like, I don't know anything about makeup, but she said something along the lines of this, and so. He then found out that his daughter has been keeping some of her stuff at her friend's house. So that because way it's they that can't bad. take it. Yeah. So upon hearing that, he brought it up again. And the guy's just the 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 dude said the same thing. And he's just like, no, like that's just what teenage girls do. The guy's wife said the same thing. So he put a lock on his daughter's door. And he's just like, this lock's gonna stay on there until they move out of the house. And the brother-in-law was, and the, the, his daughters were very hurt by that. Oh, that's, that's why sorry, he's, you that's why fucking like, pieces of shit. That's why he's like, am I the asshole? Because I put a lock on my daughter's door and won't take it off. No, until because my these bitches are kleptos. Yeah. And so what ended up happening was then the wife got upset because she's just like, I can't believe you would do that. So he explained okay, her. He's, Karen. Like, he's like, yeah, he's like, look, like our daughter, you know, like they've been taking her stuff. Like she spent her money on this, like that she's been saving up all of that. She doesn't even like to keep her stuff at home anymore. She doesn't feel like it's safe. And the mom's just like, well, what do you, wait, what are you trying to do? You trying to tell me that we need to kick my brother out. And he's just like, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying we're going to put a lock on the door like so that way they just can't go in there and steal her shit until you know he eventually finds a place to live and she's yeah. like i can't believe if my family could hear you saying that they would wait they so would this is his you. wife his this wife his, yeah his wife which that it's her brother that moved in with him okay so you want your little nieces stealing shit from your daughter yeah. too and so that that's why then, then are we all crazy <laughs> when when she's like yeah my family, if my family could hear you talking like that right now, they would hate you. Probably because they all steal shit too. The best part, he's like, oh, you mean the family that didn't even want to take them in in the first place? They didn't want to take in their son and granddaughters? Oh, oh shit. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh. I was like, damn, son. <laughs> That's a fucking good one. And yeah, and he was just like, yo, he's like, am I the asshole? I was like, nah, man, you are not the, you are no. not the asshole. No. And yeah, it's absolutely like, not. It's like, yo, get it. Or oh, that was the other thing. So when when the, the brother-in-law talked to him about the whole lock on the door, he explained to him the makeup situation. Yeah. Uh about the one that she bought, that sixty dollar one. And the brother-in-law's like, Well, she's a young girl. She shouldn't be she shouldn't be like buying expensive makeup and trying to look older. Like that's not, that's not, that's not smart. That's not good parenting. Is money that she earned a pair she according be, to this she story? Could, you could easily replace that. Just go buy a ten dollar one at Walmart. And he's like, that's not the point. The point is, my daughter s saved up her money so she could buy this expensive makeup, regardless of if expensive makeup somehow makes you look older. Like she just wanted nice makeup for herself. 
yeah no it was like i was like yo this is wild as shit dude that's insane like yeah. no you're not the asshole sir your brother-in-law your your wife your brother-in-law and your nieces are yeah yeah wild just wild yeah you bring one of those to the podcast every week and i'll tell you who the asshole is no problem (laughs) i'm a virgo i will tell everyone their faults i'll try and see you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong (laughs) you you are the asshole but you you're not you could (laughs) you you're okay every once in a while you find a gem like that and you're like ooh, people are insane no people are horrible yep Oh, people make me so mad. Today was one of those <laughs> days too. Oh, hmm. oh, I freaking hate the world. That's just how it is. Well, like people, also like people. who people that help themselves to shit. Oh my God. Like, like if I worked hard for something, it's my decision. If yeah. I want to share, let me make a nice gesture by saying would you like to use this would you like some let me be a hero do not ever touch my shit no don't invite yourself to start touching my shit like don't take it upon yourself to use my shit that's my shit if you want it why don't you go get a job and work hard for it yeah how's that song go Ooh, that's my shit that's my shit yeah that's how it goes but also like let's just say so the guy was kicked out and it's him and his two 18 year old twins yeah here's another thing i don't have tolerance for i'm sorry if you're 18 you're old enough to hold down a job unless you have extreme disabilities that prevent you from functioning in a workplace that's another story but if you are 18 You should have a job. You should have a job from the time you're 16. I don't give a fuck how privileged you are. Get a fucking job and culture yourself. Oh, you have a lot of classes at school. How about you learn how to manage school and a job at the same time? Everyone should have a job when they turn 16. That's everyone. Honestly, like everyone having a job and going to school is a really good way for kids to realize like oh this is actually like the real world over here and then this is like the bullshit i gotta juggle like that's it's a great way for kids to learn to yeah like uh, there's a world that exists outside of school yeah well because that is the whole thing like when you're in school that's like your whole world and the first time that you realize that there's a whole universe beyond this shitty little tank that you live in you realize if you're like a nerd like me that you might not be a nerd your whole life or you might be, but there's more nerds out there. Oh, you were, you were a nerd. Hmm. Hmm. I wasn't popular. So you were a nerd. You just gonna, you just gonna claim you were a nerd. I was weird. Yeah. And I am weird. <laughs> you so you're a weird kid, not a nerd. Don't worry, there's subcategories of nerds too. You yeah, got the nerd jockey gym. nerds and you got the weird nerds. You got the rolly backpack nerds. Yeah. You got the card game nerds. <laughs> the card game. The band nerds. So many nerds. Yeah. There's 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 subcategories and make ma- there's major categories and subcategories for everything. <laughs> major nerds and minor nerds. That's like uh for programming, we have I feel like there's like three types that we usually have. There's what people assume they are, which is normal. There's the like really, really bad ones Mm -hmm. that are like the super socially awkward. They probably smell bad. They don't take showers. And then there's what we call programmers. Programmers? Programmers. And they're exactly what you think of. They're the bros of programming. Hmm. They, Nothing they, I care anything about. Yeah, they talk They talk a lot of shop, and they're just like, oh, yeah, man, that's pretty sweet. Yo, you check out my wicked for loop I just wrote. Man, I just saved us so much time. You're like, oh, that's really cool, man. Good for you. That's a lot. 
Oh, check out my iterator. Look what I named it. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, and I lost That's all okay. attention span. Any of my programming nerds out there, you know. <laughs> well, I think this is a good place to... Oh, I start talking about programming, and you're like, mm, you know what, let's go ahead and actually cut this off now. <laughs> I wake up so early. Oh, so early. Find this rainbow shirt. Oh, my shirt says kind people and on the bottom it says are my kind of people isn't that nice but it is ironic because i got yelled and screamed at by two people at work today guess they weren't your kind of people no they were not that's too bad so that's why i want to go to sleep so i can escape my life (laughs) before i have to go back and live it some more Sweet work dreams, tomorrow. sweet dreams to you and sweet dreams to all you out there listening and watching. We'll catch you all next time on Relatable. Goodbye. Goodbye.